In video 5, we're going to take a look at how to begin to add products to our Volusion store. We're going to assume that this product is on hand, either in our house, in our warehouse, or in our small business location. So we will actually be touching this product, physically shipping it out to the customer. Adding a product to your Volusion store can be very simple or very complex, depending on how many settings in the adding product section you'd like to update. By default, however, you are required to update four settings, the product code, product name, product price, and product weight, in order for the product to be live in your online store. To add a new product in your Volusion admin site, click on Inventory and then Products. When the All Products page appears, click the Add button. The Add New Products page will then load and you'll be able to add a new record or new product into your catalog. The basic product info has four fields which we talked about that need to be set to values in order for the product to go live. The product name. We're going to offer the Body for Life Fitness Plan. This should be a very descriptive yet simple name for your product because this is what's going to go under the image when people are on your website. The code is unique and your users will see that but this should be more for organizational purposes for you so you want to determine how you're going to organize your products before you begin adding them. I'm calling this one FIT01 because any products I add to the fitness section I want to start with an FIT. That will help me to organize my products especially if I'm storing my products on site. In the price field, I'm simply going to add $15. I don't need the dollar sign. And in the weight field, it weighs a pound. The product weighs a pound, so I'll put in the number one. If you ever have any questions about whether or not you should include pound, ounces, or in the case of price, dollar sign, simply click on the question mark next to any of the fields, and it will give you examples, and that'll help you correctly input the values. The description field is optional, but it is highly recommended that you input content into the description field. These are the details or features that your customer will see when they actually click on the item. And this could be the selling point for your item. So it's very, very important that you provide a detailed description of your product. For time saving purposes, I'm just going to say this fitness plan will make you smart. Now, we definitely want to link our product to a category. This product should show up when folks click on the fitness link, so I'm going to link it to the fitness category. It's also extremely beneficial to have an image to go with our product, so I'm going to scroll down to the image management section and click on add image. I'll search for the image by clicking browse, and I've saved it locally, so I'll select it from where I've saved it locally, hit open, and then upload. I'll know that the picture is a part of my product because it now shows in the image management section. Some other fields that I recommend you update can be found in the advanced settings section. You definitely want to update for search engine optimization your meta tag data. But I also recommend that you go down to the stock section and enter the stock status, how many you have on hand. And this will increment down, it will decrease as folks buy your product, so you always know how many you have on hand. I'm a, if I was a small e-commerce startup, I would recommend do not allow back orders. And then, to coincide with do not allow back orders, I would choose hide when out of stock. This means that if you were happen to sell your last Body for Life fitness plan, the um, actual product would no longer show in your online store. It wouldn't delete it from your database, but it would prevent a customer from adding it to your cart, adding it to their cart because it's not available. You click save and then you can actually go to your store and we'll click on the fitness button. and we see that our product has been added. It's our Body for Life product. This is the name we gave it, the price we gave it, and the description. So we have successfully added a product to our online store. In the next video, we'll look at how to add a product from a dropshipper.